so we're just heading up to race start more loaded up with kit we're ready to go I'm loving these late morning starts so we're just walking through Kane's track here it's quite lovely Even nice and quiet in the bush it's going to be a big day today it's going to be raining mostly a bit windy uh, but I think the the uh, River Tucker Incline is pretty sheltered for, uh, no, uh, I think it's a Norwester so reasonably sheltered I think but it should make for just a pleasant trot across the mountains um, loads of people so I could actually get a race on this year And here we have the first tunnel of the day. It's a nice easy job. moment I'm running on heart rate I'm trying to keep my heart rate under 160 and I think that's kind of a sustainable speed hopefully uh, so far so good it looks like the rain's gonna hold off so that is also a bonus to the summit and then it's all downhill for a bit and then we can make it here. so going well so far I had no idea where I am in the pack um, there's people behind me there's people in front of me but I'm just taking it along having a good day chatting to people and just basically having a good time and it's just lovely in here it really is 
get to the summit, we'll grab some fuel and carry on down. That's the summit in one hour 40 minutes. So that's not terrible. Alright, we're gonna head to the summit tunnel. And we're gonna head down. Oh well, nearly there man. See you bud. Yeah. Okay, so we're heading back up the hill. So I'm currently in a tense place. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to hold on to that, but I'm going to sign up for the race. I was optimistic if I top 10 finish, because there were only 10 people in the race. And now a bunch more people signed up, so... My goal of the top 10 is not assured. And so, and the guy that just passed me, he's about 100 meters or so from the aid station. So he will probably overtake me. Uh, so, what that means is I need to hunt down number 9 and try and pass him first. I'm not entirely sure I can do that. <laughs> it's been a good day so far though. So it took me two hours, 20 minutes to get to the aid station, so halfway. So that puts me back under five and a half hours, hopefully. If I can do it in under five and a half, that would be good. Because uh, you've got lots of uphill now. And another lots of it. But all in all, it's a lovely day. And now we climb. Okay, 
So we're walking back up to the summit. Number 11 hasn't appeared yet. Downward leg now, coming down from the summit. Still an intense place, I think. But it's going pretty slow now. Everything hurts. Keep going. Part of the problem with this race is I should be running, I should be racing. But it's so pretty in here that you really don't want to go fast. Just want to stop, take it in, and just enjoy it. Which is what I'm doing. Put it to case and find out 23. We've got three k's to go to the finish now. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but I'm still in 10th place, I think. There you go, guys. What? Oh, you snuck through there. We're so busy looking that way. I know. I wasn't coming that way. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. If you're about to beat the torrential rain, mate. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're nearly done. So we need a few hundred metres left to go. So it's been a good day. Uh, it took me longer than I wanted it to, but still. And the weather hasn't started raining, it's just starting to think about raining now, which is good. So yeah, it's been nice to actually get out and have a race and, and uh, test the body out a bit. Alrighty, time to dig in for the last bit. Mm -hmm. 